Hello, this is Todd Nurhead with Dell Tech Center. And this is a quick video demo of creating snapshots with the PowerVault MD3000i. So first, let's take a look at our host where we have some data. And what we have here is uh, a, a host with Exchange data on it that's on a, a, a virtual disk on our MD3000i. Uh, so the scenario we're going to be working through is what if we wanted to take this data and uh, take a snapshot of it and use it as a test and a migration. So if we go in and look here at our Exchange Store 1, we have some, uh, some files here that represent our Exchange uh, emails. So now if we bring up the MDSM, the Modular Disk Storage Manager, we can go in and see that same Exchange Store volume here in Disk Group 1. So to take a snapshot of this volume, We just need to go to the Configure tab in MDSM and click on the Create Snapshot Virtual Disk. Now here you get a, a warning message um, and basically what this is referring to is that in order to ensure consistency, um, data consistency, you need to quiesce all the I.O. Um, on, on the array. Um, if, you, if you don't quest, quest the I.O. or halt all activity, then what you'll get is a crash consistent um, snapshot instead of a, a data consistent snapshot. So if we look here, we have our disk group 1. We'll select the exchange store 1 line. And we'll click on next. And then here we get, we're going to select simple, which will create the snapshot uh, virtual disk repository on the same LUN as, uh, on the same set of, uh, the same disk group as the uh, LUN that we're taking the snapshot of. So we're going to change the names here so that it's a little more descriptive uh, of both the snapshot name so that we can tell that this is what we're going to use for our testing that we're doing right now in 2008. And then also we'll change the, the repository name to, to clearly say that it's a repository. So we'll know that this is where the snapshot uh, information is, is kept. So it's, it'll use this space to maintain the snapshot. And these snapshots are a copy on write. So at, when we create the snapshot here in just a second, um, no data is actually copied. Um, it's not until uh, data is changed that it will be, um, that, that, that that original block is copied into the repository. So here we have the option to map uh, to a host immediately, and we're going to map it to our, our second host, which is our uh, the, the host we'll be testing on. So right now it's creating the snapshot, and like I said, no data is actually copied right now. It's just set up a table of pointers um, so that it can keep track of all the blocks. And as soon as a block, or just before a block is changed on the original LUN, that copy of the, the old block will be moved of the original block, data block will be moved into the repository. And it's completed, and we're not going to create another one right now. So that's it. It's very quick to create a snapshot. Now we're going to bring up the uh, a connection to the second host, our test host, and take a look at the data that we've mapped. The snap we'll first we're going to connect to it with the iSCSI initiator, so we'll refresh. and then log on it's connected now so then we'll go into our disk manager disk management and we'll see that the uh, disk the exchange store one is now there we'll go ahead and change the drive letter just to make sure that uh, we have where we want it and we can explore it and we'll see that we have our uh, data out there and, and this appears to this host to be um, a full LUN so we can go out and we can add new files um, we can change the data that's here and the changes that are made are kept on that snapshot repository LUN with the MD3000i managing um, that snapshot image So if we go back to MDSM and look at our disks again, we'll now see in disk group 1 that our original exchange store 1 LUN is there. It now has a snapshot associated with it, as well as the repository 
uh, LUN is also on this same set of disks. And that's it for the demo. Um, very quick to create uh, snapshots with MD3000i. For other demos, check out deltechcenter.com. Thanks.